Hello, I'm Jürgen Schulz. I'm a research scientist at the Kala T2 Research Center, and I work in the Immersive Visualization Group. What I'm going to show you today is the visualization application that we wrote for the Greenlight Project. Now, the Greenlight Project is an NSF, National Science Foundation funded project, in which we investigate how much power computers consume when they run certain algorithms. So what we did is, in this project, we purchased a Sun Microsystems black box. This is a, it's actually white, um, but it's called the black box. And that's a supercomputer in a shipping container. The shipping container is equipped with power and uh, power supplies, networking, and also um, air conditioning. And it's located here on campus, about a 10-minute walk from here. Now, since we don't always want to walk there in order to see what's going on inside of it, and we couldn't even see what's going on inside of it because we're talking about power consumption, we have a virtual model. We created a virtual model for our immersive virtual reality cave and also for the next cave. What we're looking at here is the next cave, which is a 10 display uh, immersive visualization system. And it's based on passive stereo. For passive stereo, I'm going to put these um, stereo glasses on. And I also have a visor on. This is a, a tracking system which we use in order to be able to really be immersed in the environment. And I'm going to control this environment with a handheld input device. This is a prototype for a 3D mouse. So now I'm going to show you what, this, what we have done for this project, um, which is that we have brought the, a, a, a virtual replica of this, of this black box into the virtual environment. And in this virtual replica, we can see how the computers are laid out inside of the box. And we can also, we have access to the um, measurement uh, sensors that measure the power consumption and the temperature in this box. So when we look at the box, now we're in front of it, we can see that there are the doors right on this side. And that's just like in the real container. You would go there and you would open these doors to get into the box. So I'm opening these and there's another door which goes inside to the uh, to the point where we can um, open the container so that we can go inside of it. So here's the corridor that we can uh, go into in order to see the racks of computers that are on either side of the corridor. There are four racks um, in this corridor on each side, and they're all full of computers. So instead of just looking at the container from the outside and looking at these racks, I can now go ahead and use the virtual reality system to turn the walls of the container and the racks and all the components that are not computers off, or rather set them to a transparent visualization mode. So now we can sort of x-ray the container and see the computers and also the switches and the storage systems in this black box. Now this can be used to not only visualize what the power consumption of these systems looks like, but we can also visualize, for instance, if a computer fails, which one that is. And it's useful to do that because we can then train a technician who's going to go out to the container and replace or repair the computer to show them where it's located at. And since this is a 3D model, we can very precisely show them where the computer is so that they can make plans uh, for how to get at it. For instance, which rack they have to move and how high they have to reach in order to get the parts out. And the reason for minimizing the physical access to the box is that we're measuring not only power consumption but also air conditioning um, so that we can see how much air conditioning we need in order to cool these computers down. Now if we go to the box and open the doors, the cold air is going to come out which is then going to ruin our measurements. And that's why we want to limit the amount of time and the number of visits to this box so that we can have uninterrupted measurements and we don't have to rerun experiments because someone had to fix a computer. This is a work in progress. In the future, we're going to be able to um, have an exact history of the power consumption and temperature in this box, where we're going to be able to look at, for instance, the last 24 hours or the last week or the last month of the power consumption of these boxes. And we're going to be able to look at a particular time period. For instance, if a researcher runs an algorithm between exactly 4.15 and 4.18 in the afternoon, then this researcher is going to be able to go back 
in time and display the configuration of power consumption in this black box at that exact moment, even over that period of time. Thank you very much.